Today we're going to be looking at the numbers of a 13-unit apartment building to fulfill a 1031 exchange. Ben from New England, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And, folks, this is the show on Holton Wise TV where I work with you one-on-one. -on -one. You get me, and then, of course, you get my team of assistants as well. We help you start, build, grow your real estate portfolios, right? The name of the game is to get some cash flow. If, by the way, you guys like this hoodie, go ahead and use promo code HWTV10 to score a 10% off discount on any of our merchandise. All the links to that is in the show notes below. We got hoodies, T-shirts, coffee mugs, stickers, you name it, right? We even got baby onesies, okay? Even the uh, I Love Evictions onesie that was featured on Netflix, all right? So, enough of that, though. My dude, Ben, all right? Ben, you're from the Boston area, New England area, okay, and you are doing a 1031 exchange, right? So what you need to do, you need to identify properties, and you need to spend at least $1.1 million, and then you told me that um, you could do it in one building, you could spread it out, you want to best utilize your 1031 here in the Cleveland market, okay? Now... What you did, you ordered a three-pack. You want me to analyze three properties for you, and you actually sent me two, two apartment buildings. One was uh, an eight-unit apartment building, and then the other, I believe it was a 36-unit apartment building. I'm going to be doing analysis on both of those for you as well. Uh, you'll probably get them all on the same day because I'm, I'm planning on filming those uh, subsequently after I film this one. But the first property that I wanted to show you uh, was the third one that I found for you, okay? And I personally believe of the three properties, this is probably the best deal. It's probably the best asset. It is by far in the best neighborhood, right? 1385 Cranford Avenue, Lakewood, Ohio, 44107. This is a 13-unit apartment building listed at $1,250,000. Now, of all the neighborhoods, right, uh, this is by far going to be the best, right? The 30, I think it was 36 unit you sent me, that was at Cleveland Heights. Decent neighborhood, uh, but it's, you know, kind of on the outskirts of Cleveland Heights where it's probably, you know, on the lower end of the quality standards in Cleveland Heights. The other one, so we'll count that as like a high C, low B neighborhood. The other one... Uh, was a C, just a C-class neighborhood in Cleveland. And then this one, this is Lakewood. This is what I would consider probably to be an A neighborhood, really. Like probably the east side of Lakewood starts off at like a B, and then it like, you know, progresses into an A as, as you go further west. Uh, but Lakewood, of all those neighborhoods, you're going to get the highest quality tenants. Lakewood is uh, an incredibly desirable place. A lot of people love the nightlife and everything like that over there. And the building itself appears to be in the best condition. Right. So let's take a look at what the listing agent said. Of course, they got a major, uh, a major, major uh, well done right up here because they actually purchased it uh, the last time they purchased it, which is this listing here. They purchased it for three hundred and seventy thousand dollars back in 2017. OK, and they have done a ton of work to this sucker since then. Right. So this is kind of like a flip project for them. Right. So with what we have here, we got like a pretty much a fully renovated building. Right. In the heart of Lakewood, comprised of 13 apartments with an opportunity con to convert additional unit 14 uh, into a 14th apartment uh, or an office. I don't see any need for you to have an office. You wouldn't need on-site management uh, for a building of this size. If you wanted to make it a, a small unit, you possibly could, but you got to deal with like zoning, and it's kind of a lot of BS, so like I really wouldn't 
put any weight into that additional space, right? I don't think it has value to you as an office. And it's probably going to be cost prohibitive just dealing with the red tape of the city uh, to make a very, very small 14th unit. So don't think about that. Like, they, obviously, they started their write-up off with that. But I don't really consider that to be of serious value. I want you to completely analyze this as a 13-unit apartment building. Offering a uniquely vintage feel with completely renovated units for a contemporary style of living. Boasting high ceilings, plenty of windows, abundant closets, all stainless steel appliances, refrigerator, range, dishwasher, microwave. These beautifully tiled bathrooms offer a walk-in shower with full height sliding glass storage. Each suite is equipped with its own furnace and central air conditioning, allowing you total climate control. Keeping you comfortable all year round, added amenities include hardwood floors, ceiling fans, cable hookups, secure entrance, 24-hour emergency maintenance service, and more. Uh, fuck, dude, they wrote a lot of shit, man. I'm getting tired, man. Give me a second. Let me squeeze this over here. Let me t take a sip of water. All right, uh, 24 hour emergency maintenance and more. These brand new spacious one bedroom suites have been completely renovated while maintaining the charm and architecture of its era while providing for every amenity you need and want. Refinished hardwood flooring throughout living areas, luxury vinyl flank flooring in kitchen and bath, brand new double pane thermal insulated windows with built in screens, LED lighting, central air conditioning, new 100 app, grounded electric service. Decora switches and outlets, ceiling fans, new plumbing, new electrical, new on-premises laundry facility, monthly, blah, 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 blah. monthly rents include sewer, water, and trash pickup with easy access to Route 2 and I-90. Cranford Apartments is a great place. Many in Lakewood can call home. All right, let me take another sip of water. Jesus Christ. Now, obviously, uh, the person who wrote that, right, they work for the seller. They're trying to, uh, you know, pitch the building and, you know, there's just like, <laughs> like a whole lot of adjectives in there, right? Uh, but essentially, the moral of the story, let me just cliff note version that massive paragraph for you, right? The the building, purchased in 2017, 370 or something like that, right? All jacked up back then. Over the last three years, you've had a professional operator, it appears, come in, totally re redo the whole building, right? We got a fully occupied rent roll, Okay. We have the big stuff taken care of. We got them taken care of. We saw the electrical, the plumbing, the whole nine, right? So they've totally renovated this building, put it to you in a very turnkey type position, right? Which is what I think you want, right? You're just trying to invest your 1031k funds and you want it to be simple, right? This is uh, another write-up, another uh, you know memorandum that they utilize showing you, you know, the proximity of where it's located and... Here's what some of the units look like. You know, just very nice, elegant, professionally looking done type thing, right? You got the nice tiles around the showers. You got the modern looking fixtures, which is the stuff you want, especially in a place like Lakewood, right? You got to attract like the millennial types, right? Nice kitchens, right? Just modern look, you know, nice clean look. You got the subway tile, you know, I mean, they, they wrote all that stuff with all those crazy adjectives in there. Yeah, it's nice, right? Big ticket items, right? Like this hot water tank, massive hot water tank that's clearly new, electric, new, nice clean laundry area for these folks. There you got your coin-operated laundry for all your tenants, which, by the way, just so you know, highly recommend getting rid of the coins and going to the coin list. The day we took our portfolio and went to coin list, uh, our lives became so much easier. Uh, it's just it's a pain in the ass actually dealing with the physical coins. Now, as I said, dude, they did it all for you, right? You got 13 units here, fully occupied, right? Bringing in 10,505, and then they're showing you the security deposits. Those, of course, will transfer over to you. Everybody is on a lengthy lease. You got one tenant here on a month to month. As far as all the rents go, those are definitely market rents for Lakewood. So, you know, some people, they're like, oh, is there upside, this or that? Like, they've already, you know, handled all the rent, uh, you know, the repositioning of this asset, right? Like this, what you see, that's what you're going to get, right? Don't think that there's like a way we could increase these rents. They did a bang up job. Everything looks good. So like this building is performing about as optimally as it could, right? And then cruising down here, they have actually provided us uh, with their actual financials. Now they only gave it to us um, from January 
2019 through December 2019, which I assume this is all they're going to make available because, remember, they bought it in 2017 as a repositioning product, right? So most folks don't provide those financials, nor would financials from the beginning of when they purchased this asset be applicable to what we're trying to do. It's irrelevant, right? They they bought it as a shit show, okay? They, they bought it as something that totally needed to be converted and, and redone, right? So whatever the heck was going on with it in 2017 doesn't really matter. This is what you can anticipate. And I, I combed through these numbers, and it all looks, uh, you know, pretty good to me, right? Like, it looks fairly accurate. If you watch my other videos when I, when I run the numbers on these and, you know, I give you your estimated expenses, these are actual expenses which would more or less fall in line with what I normally give you guys for reasonable estimates, right? Like, those things I give you are reasonable estimates that reflect you know, actual numbers that look like this. So this is a, a very nice snapshot of what you can reasonably expect. And then their NOI for the year was $65,818.37, which I think is totally uh, feasible. Just uh show you guys some various ways like people do things, just if you're curious too, like uh, on this, right, with their repairs, they have their repair line items, which is up here, okay? But then as far as their capital expenditures, they have those down here. When I do my capital expenditures, I'm really just thinking about the bigger stuff. Uh, it looks like based upon some of the charges, like the seven here, the six here, I'm thinking perhaps they are considering unit turnovers to be in the capital expenditure line item. That's just how they do their accounting, whereas I would normally put them up in the repairs. But it all kind of is pencil not the same. Because, again, I believe a $65,000 NOI is pretty reasonable, pretty accurate. No reason for me to believe that these numbers are fictitious or fraudulent. Nothing about this uh, memorandum is out of the norm or leads me to believe anything is unrealistic, right? And I know the neighborhood is really, really great, and you're going to get a nice solid investment. So if I'm going for the long term, trying to move my 1031 money into an asset, this would be the asset I choose uh, over all three of these. This is my personal favorite. The other two are not, in my opinion, bad deals. Um, but I think if I had my choice, if I can get our target price on any one of the three properties, I would pick this one. This would be the one I'd want to own the most long term. However, it's important that we do all three because I don't know uh, if we'll be able to get any of them done because all three of these sellers have one thing in common. They're asking too much goddamn money. In my opinion, $1,250,000 is too much for this asset. What I would like to see you do, I would like to start the bidding at $900,000. If you were to pick it up at $900,000, in my opinion, that would be ideal. That would be about 69000 a unit. I don't necessarily think we can get them to come down $350,000. So what I believe will ultimately happen is I believe we'll start at nine hundred k, and I believe we'll probably be able to close it if we can get it closed at a million. I would not want to see you pay more than a million. At a million dollars, it puts it at about a 6.6 .6 cap, which is, in my opinion, the most you should spend on this particular property. Again, nothing bad about the property. Love the renovation. It's like literally set up perfect for a guy doing a 1031, but I just think it's overpriced by $250,000. I don't want to see overpay. So I would recommend we start the bidding at nine hundred k and we max out. That should be our ceiling. Our walk away point should be a mil. If we got to pay more than a million, I, I think you're, you're on the brink of overpaying there. So that's my thoughts on this building. Again, if we get, if you agree with me and you're like, yeah, I like this one the best of these three, we'll try to pursue this one. But if they want us to pay over a million, I'd rather see you walk away from it and try to take down the other two. Now, the other two, like I said, I'm going to analyze those here subsequently uh, in your next two videos. I'm going to break it up, uh, one video for each property, keep things simple, keep things quick, keep things streamlined. Uh, but this, my opinion, if we can get this at the target price, let's do this one. Uh, if they want us to go over, though, let's look into the other two. The other two are also going to require me to try to work out some serious negotiation discounts from those sellers because the other two, in my opinion, are also overpriced. So 
Yes, we want to place your 1031 funds, but we don't want to place them into an overpriced property, right? We got to get you the right property for the right price. So if you like this one, you want to move forward with this one, just reply to the private link uh, and my team will begin working on those. Otherwise, if you don't, just uh, you know, sit tight. I'm going to get you the other two videos out and then give me your feedback on all three videos and let me know what plan of attack you want to take. And then quickly before I get out of here, everybody else who's watching Ben's video, just so you know, this property is not available. I sent this to Ben a couple months ago. Uh, when you guys sign up to work with me and my team, we give you everything privately. And then uh, only when the deals are done and the dust settles do we release the videos for free publicly on Holton Wise TV for everybody to learn. So if you're watching this and you're like, hey, I want to invest in the Cleveland market and I like these guys' style, I like what they do. And just so you guys know, after we close on any of these deals, my team, we can handle the property management, the maintenance, the construction, repairs, landscaping, property insurance, title insurance. We do it all, right? So if you guys want to invest in the Cleveland market, we make it as easy as possible, completely passive. So uh, you can reach out to my team by sending us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. Just leave your phone number. We'll give you a call, talk to you about our products and services. We got a fact on our website. And if you're ready to rock, ready to go, you want to start working with me in a video like this, you go to the MLS search and analysis show by clicking the show notes below or going to holtonweiss.com. And uh, you can get started, and then I'll start working with you in a one-on-one -on -one fashion like I'm doing Ben here, right? You guys make the purchase, and then you get an email from me a day or so later. And I ask you your wants, your needs, what your situation is. Like, you know, today Ben's situation is he's doing a 1031. He's got to spend $1.1 million, right? We have to find him $1.1 million worth of real estate or else he's not going to get those tax benefits, okay? So it's all about you, your situation, and then uh, we go to work. And uh, we try to get you the right deal at the right price, right? I, I still, even though we got we to gotta find Ben a million point one worth of real estate, I don't want to see him spend 1.25 on this building because I think that would be overpaying by a quarter million dollars. I'd rather continue looking for him and analyzing more properties so I can get him the right deal, right? So that's what we're doing, folks. Thank you for watching. Brand new views out there. Do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is... Real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.